Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bulldog Winch line of Sportsman coolers. Now as the name suggests, the Sportsman line of Bulldog Winch coolers are going to be really great for the outdoorsman. Not only will they work for tailgating or barbecuing and things like that, but they're designed to be great for camping, hunting and fishing, and other outdoor activities. Let's take a look at some of those features built into our cooler. The first thing you're going to notice with this cooler is the thickness of the walls. So we pop this open here. The walls are going to be extra thick for better insulation. We'll also have this durable thick gasket that's going to go all the way around the opening of our cooler and it's going to keep the cold air in and the hot air out. A common problem that can occur whenever we have a really cold cooler, the air tends to compress a little bit and that makes it harder to open because it creates a vacuum. But Bulldog Winch has taken that into account and they've actually included a pressure release. So you can press that on the side and that's going to equalize the air making it easier to open even when cold. Now the way that works is as we press that button it's just going to let a little bit of air get into the cooler to equalize the pressure but not enough to compromise the temperature of the items inside. Another unique thing of the Sportsman line is that they have this embossed ruler in the lid of our cooler so you can easily measure fish to make sure that they're at limit or any other game or any other use where you might need it outside. One thing I like about this ruler other than it just being handy built into the lid is that it's really easy to read with the large numbers and tick marks. The textured surface of our lid can also be used as a cutting board. Just keep in mind, especially with sharp fillet knives, you probably will scar and scratch the surface a little bit. The latches are going to be nice and oversized, so you can either grab them from underneath or by the hole in the middle. And they're going to be made of a plastic and rubber strap, so you can easily get those unlatched, but they're also going to be really nice and durable. I just like that you can have a couple options on how to open this. When you come over the top, you usually kind of grab it from the bottom to pull it up. But that circle in the middle also gives you the option of pulling through if you're coming at it from the front. It also gives you a little bit of purchase whenever you go to close it to snap that latch closed. There's a steel rod running all the way through the hinge to reinforce it and add some extra security. The Sportsman line of coolers runs in three different sizes. We're going to have a 20 quart, a 45 quart, which is the one we're working with today, and also a 65 quart. Now this 45 quart, that works out to 11.25 or 11 and a quarter gallons. We also have one of the big bags of ice, that's 22 pounds of ice, in here right now just to show you what this can hold. We're going to have nice handles that have a strap and a rubber grip, so it's going to have enough length for one person to carry it, or two if you need. Now like most coolers, it does have a drain to allow you to get rid of any excess water, and those handles will help to tip the cooler to drain it. That drain plug will also have a nice rubber grommet, which is going to help keep it insulated and also watertight. Something I like about this cooler as well is that it's going to have these rubber feet, which are going to protect your truck bed from any scratches or abrasions. But it's also going to make it so that it's not going to just slide around into the bed of your truck when you're driving. There's also enough of a space here that you can get your hand into the cooler, so if you just need to pull it out without using the handle, you can. And an added bonus to our coolers is the bottle opener on the side. Now you'll notice the indention on the corner of our cooler. That's to allow a lock to be passed through. It's not included with our cooler, but you can pick one up from Bolt, and those can be key to like to your vehicle's ignition key. It's just a really nice option so you don't have one extra key. All you have to do is lock it up and everything's going to stay inside there. Now in our experience with working with this cooler today, I think it's a really nice step up from your average sort of entry level cooler. It has the really nice thick walls that are going to keep everything well insulated. We put our ice in about three and a half hours ago and since then it hasn't really melted very much at all. It's pretty chilly today, about 50 degrees, so that helps as well, but it's still going to keep everything really well insulated, especially if you have the whole thing chock full of ice. Now. Not only is it going to help to keep cold things cold, but it also helps to keep hot things hot. So you can use this if you're doing like a cookout or something like that. Anytime you would need to keep your items insulated, this is going to do a really great job. With all the extra bonus features like the heavy duty handles, the bottle opener, the nice heavy duty hinge, I think this is just all around a really well built cooler for anything that you might throw at it. We left the ice in our cooler overnight just to see how well our cooler is going to keep it insulated. So let's take a look to see how much is melted. 
as you can see we still have plenty of ice left in our cooler this is the same ice from yesterday we haven't added any more we did have to drain a little bit of the water off but that is to be expected for the dimensions on our 20 quart cooler the exterior is going to be 18 and an eighth inches long by 12 and an eighth inches wide and 14 and an eighth inches tall the interior dimensions are the usable space that's going to be 14 and 3 eighths of an inch long by 10 and an eighth wide by 10 inches tall. For our 45 quart cooler, the exterior dimensions are going to be 25 and 7 eighths of an inch long by 15 inches wide and 15 and 5 eighths inches tall. The interior on that is going to be 22 and an eighth by 10 and 7 eighths and 11 and 3 eighths inches. And for our largest cooler with the 65 quart capacity, the exterior is going to be 28 and 3 eighths inches long by 17 and a half inches wide, by 17 and an eighth inches tall. The interior is going to be 24 inches long, by 12 and a half inches wide, by 12 and 5 eighths inches tall. The FDA does recommend that any perishable items that need to be refrigerated stay at or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And that'll do it for our look at the Bulldog Winch line of Sportsman Coolers.